हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द नाइन्थ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ मार्केटिंग रिसर्च सेमिस्टर फाइव मॉडल नंबर वन इन टूडेज टॉपिक वी आर गोन डिस्कस वॉट आर इवेल्युएशन एंड एक्शन रिसर्च सो लेट अस बिगिन विथ टूडेज लेक्चर सो इवेल्युएशन रिसर्च इवेल्युएशन रिसर्च इज एनी अप्लाइड रिसर्च मेथड दैट कंसिडर्स द इफेक्टिवनेस इफिशियंसी and the unintended consequences of a program process or policy many times we come up with certain changes certain changes in policies or maybe certain changes in rules and regulations in an organization these changes bring about certain changes some changes might be intended that is the results of this change some changes may be unintended so we want to measure suppose are uh, the effectiveness or the efficiency of these changes whether intended or unintended then this kind of research that we are going to carry out is known as evaluation research so evaluation research considers the effectiveness the efficiency and the unintended results or consequences of a program process or policy that you launch in your organization evaluation research are basically of two types the first one is summative evaluation research and the second one is formative evaluation research what are the differences between summative research and formative research summative research is generally done to find out the result at the end of any process whereas formative research is done to find out the or to evaluate the changes that have been taken place during the process itself so what are the benefits of this we'll get to know one after the other summative research basically seeks to identify uh, or understand the outcomes outcomes or results that are important so it tries to find out uh, or understand the outcomes or effects of something that is something that we have changed for example if a teacher conducts a test for children in school it is used to assess the effectiveness of teaching or the effectiveness of the curriculum suppose a teacher who is conducting a test for the students and the test is intended to understand how much effective was the effect how much effective was the teaching or how much effective the curriculum was if that was the intended outcome or that was the reason why research was conducted then this type of research is known as summative research because at the end of teaching the test is conducted and the test is conducted to identify or to know how effective the teaching was or how effective the curriculum that is the syllabus was so this is a kind of summative research the second type of research that we are going to study is formative research what happens in formative research formative research is used to help strengthen or improve the person or thing that is being tested now what is being tested the teaching or maybe the children are being tested a children are being given test so suppose if the teacher gives a test to the children are uh, to know what are the better teaching ways or how well i can teach to the students or how uh, i can improve the teaching aids or maybe teaching methodology so if that is the reason why test is being conducted then this type of a uh, test or this type of uh, research is known as a formative evaluation research so what happens in this case is we are trying to improve or better uh, improve the uh, teaching techniques teaching methodology to for better learning of the students the results that are obtained from formative research we will get during the research process only hence these research can be applied during the process and hence the process can be improved whereas in summative research we get do this research at the end of teaching or at the end of the process and hence only the results whether it was effective or not that is what we will get to know so basically in evaluation research what we are going to do is we are understanding the effectiveness efficiency 
and the unintended consequences of a program process or policy that we have undertaken in our organization the second type of research that we are going to study today is action research now what is this action research as the name suggests there is certain action that is being taken along with research action research which is equal to action plus research so action plus research what is the action plus research that we are going to do it is a process in which practitioners especially uh, the teachers in education field uh, the practitioners attempt to study their own problems scientifically in order to guide correct and evaluate their decisions and actions so what I, what is happening here is the practitioners maybe teachers are trying to identify their own problems and they are trying to solve they are gathering the data and based upon the data they are analyzing it and they are trying to solve their own problems during the process itself so when i am teaching suppose if i am giving this online lecture i'll collect data i'll keep on collecting data i'll try to analyze the data and then i'll what i'll do is after analyzing i'll try to better or maybe correct myself i'll try to guide myself and also i'll evaluate the decisions that i've made or the actions that i'm taking so that better understanding can happen for the students it is done systematically collecting data on your everyday practice and analyzing it in order to come to some sort decisions about what your future practice should be so it will mold your future practice it will tell you it will give you a direction about which uh, uh, what decisions you have to take based upon the data that you have collected and analyzed so basically what you are doing in action research is every day you are going to collect data especially the practitioners suppose lawyers doctors engineers or uh, teachers they here will be doing their work daily work how can they better do the work so they gather the data every day data once every day data is gathered they organize the data they collect the, uh, the collected data is analyzed and the results of this anal analyzed data will be used so that the future actions that they do the future practice that they do will be improved now there are certain steps there is a cycle you might have learned this cycle in uh, some other subjects like production and operations management where you come across a cycle that is known as pdca which stands for plan do check and act so similarly we have an uh, cycle here in action research what is this cycle it is like this firstly you identify the problem that is first step starts with this identify the problem and envision success so identify what is the problem what are the loopholes in the process or maybe what are the bottlenecks once you identify that then you develop a plan of action how are you going to deliver to your customers once that is done you collect data on how you are doing means you collect data maybe from your consumers maybe from your respondents maybe from your students so you collect data on how things are happening once that is done you analyze the data and form conclusions about it you also report the results to your management suppose if there is a higher authority you have to report this results and then lastly you adjust the theory and begin again so you whatever you were thinking that this is the right way to do a particular job based upon the data that you have collected and analyzed maybe it will give you new insights or new direction about how you have to go up with your problem or how you have to do uh, a particular thing in a better way so once you do that you have to adjust that way and rectify yourself and move on and then again this cycle continues from step number 1 so this is a complete round up of a uh, action research so it goes in a cyclic order that is why it is also known as action research cycle uh, now what are the examples one uh, i will take up two examples on action research the first one is what happens to students for example if teacher wants to uh, do this kind of a uh, project we normally give you some project work so what happens is we form use uh, form small groups now suppose in a school setting i am telling uh, the teacher wants to know what happens to students academic performance so what happens to the students academic performance when heterogeneous groups 
of students are made for group study so the teacher is doing what kind of a research the he or she wants to find out the academic performance of students when they are converted into small small groups maybe five five people in one group for group study purpose now these five students are also heterogeneous means one might be very good in studies one might be very bad poor in studies and there might be three average people so if this kind of a group you are doing then what is the effect on the academic performance of these five students based upon maybe previous tests or the previous examination results so uh, you are selecting five students and you are try making a group uh, and asking them to do group study for examination and then you are asking them to find out or uh, yeah, based upon that you are trying to find out what is the academic performance are they improving or are they falling or are they remaining the same so this type of research what the teacher is doing is nothing but an action research similarly another uh, one can be like how can a new language be best taught to students so if you want to teach a new language to students so how can it be taught uh, maybe by reading or speaking so if you want to know it you have to conduct an action research itself so i hope you have understood today's lectures for more uh, doubts a doubt clearance if you have anything you can contact me so today we will end today's lecture here